Heroes come in many forms, and one Kansas woman is looking for hers. She wants to say thank you for an act of kindness long ago, if only she could find him. John Batten takes us on her search. This lady I wanted to call, too. As a retired teacher, Sue Towns is used to doing research and organizing information. But this is a real challenge. She's trying to find her childhood hero. I just remember him giving me a nickel. A nickel that made a real difference to a poor skinny girl on her way to school in Lawrence, Kansas in the 1950s. But it just meant a lot to me to do that, and I love moon pies. I love moon pies. Those moon pies were her only breakfast, made possible by the generosity of someone she can't remember any details about. Other than he seemed to work for the railroad and stood by the tracks she had to cross to get to school. Sue's childhood was difficult. We were taken from our home February of 57. The six kids went to separate foster homes, and when they all met back up as adults, there were plenty of questions. But this positive thing that the, my hero did outlasted everything else. As she's been aided in the search by her sister Brenda and others, she's realized something. I don't know that I can re really ever truly know. She thought gathering everyone she could around one table might bring some answers and might find her hero. But if not, she can at least do one thing through her search. To let others know that you can make a, a difference in somebody's life. And of course, Sue brought moon pies. John Batten, 41 Action News. <laughs> Sue credits her choice of a career in teaching to the kindness she received as a child from the Moon Pie Man and others. Oh, that's great.